This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I've been working on some projects using envelopes, and one of the things I've been really addicted to is making the envelope flip books. So let's get started. So I already created the project that I have done. Um, it's completed, but I wanted to show you at least how I put it together. Um, and once you have this part done, you can decorate it however you want and you can use your stash. This is a Father's Day flip book. And I ended up using this paper right here from the Dollar Tree. It has that wood grain. So I figured this would be perfect. And so all you're going to do is you're just going to attach your envelopes. And I'm attaching mine in um, the, going in the same direction. So you just want to take this part here and glue it. But where this little fold is here, you want to leave a little bit of space there so that you can actually close your flip book. But you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. So I'm just going to start gluing. And I'm just leaving a little bit of space right in between here. And I've had these envelopes for so long, it never really dawned on me to start using them. So you'll probably be seeing more projects using these. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line it up. And I'm leaving that little bit of space in between there. And so you just want to make sure that it can close, right? So I'm just kind of folding it right against where it lines up here, just to have a little extra. So there are several um, tutorials on YouTube doing the envelope flip books. And so I had looked at so many of them for inspiration. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach the other one. So you see how you can choose how many you want on this? How many envelopes you wanna have? Okay, and I'm just gonna put this right here. Making sure that this flap is out because I want that to be on the end. I was surprised at how many uh, variations on Pinterest as well. So you can go on there and get some inspiration as well. But I couldn't wait to try this. Okay, so look, that's the bare bones of your of your flip book so far. Here's the other side. That's what it looks like. And it's okay that it looks like this because I'm going to be covering it up, as you'll see in my finished project. So this is basically how I used mine. I closed it up like this. Just to make a little crease right against here because I want a little a little bit of bulk for when I'm adding stuff in and then another one here I'm just folding that over and it's got its own little spine on it you see how that is that just leaves a little bit because you're gonna start putting stickers in there you're gonna start adding paper so what I ended up doing was this is five inches by seven inches I started cutting this down to fit my envelope so if you want to trace the envelope uh, you can do that um, like each envelope uh, these envelopes are let's see what size I have on this they're four by five and a half so you can trace it however you need to do it to cut it up onto there I just kind of cut around it um, and cut my paper in advance so however you want to do it. Now this is a lighter paper. So what I what I suggest, if you want to do that, to make your book much more sturdier, is put a backing on here. Of course it takes a little bit more time, but it's so well worth it. Well, let's get one that's just take some cardstock, a sturdy cardstock, and you can just add it. Let me just use this for an example. Add it to the backing up here to make it sturdy. Cut it out the size of your envelope and then attach it. And I attached mine on both sides. And the nice thing is that you can have pockets on them as well. 
So of course, this will be a pocket. And because this is dad inspired, the one I made, I wanted to maybe be able to add another card in here. I can add a, a uh, gift, gift card, a, a regular card, and then maybe something else in here. So it's, there's so many possibilities with this. And I think this would make a great happy mail idea as well. So you see how that is? And it's going to get closed up and covered. So let me show you the finished project. And I might end up adding more to it. Okay, so this is the one that I made. Look how absolutely adorable that is. This started out as the white envelope. And I just covered it with that paper going in different directions. Once I had the paper on there, on both sides, I took washi tape and I glued the washi tape to the spine just to give it more, make it more sturdy. And then I just started decorating it. So let's take a look at this. I ended up taking that same paper and I used the scraps to cut out some hearts for dad in that wood grain. And then I took some of my stickers, like my Dollar Tree stickers, and started just adding stuff to it. I took stickers from my stash. This adorable truck right here, um, I had so much fun, I'm, I'm gonna end up doing another one. But this adorable truck is from one of the uh, holiday stamp sets. Um, it's called um, Memory Lane, and this is a May May Made It stamp. And I thought this truck would be perfect for Father's Day. And as you know, I love to use my stamps for more than just one particular season. And then I used the dad stamp, um, the best dad stamp from May May's collection. So I was so happy that I could use that to decorate this. And all I did is just cut out little scraps, tied all the colors together. I used my tumble markers to color in the truck. And then I had some stars in my stash that I had been, I don't know how long I had those things. I really need to use more of my stash and challenge myself to use more things for my stash. Okay, and so this is the first opening. And look how adorable that is. This is, um, I just took pieces of the paper that were left over once again and started just cutting it up, making it look like a board on a fence. And then I just started stamping it. You are a step above the rest, thanks, using my stamps. And then you open it up again and you've got, I just took more hearts, cut them out. And I had stamped this in black I love you, you're the man, one of a kind. And then I was gonna use my, my sparkle gel pen to, you, to do this, to go over it. And it ended up being my white gel pen, but guess what, it still worked out. And then I took bits and pieces of the musical notes, because I have Bill in mind when I, when I do this. Um, I always think about things that he likes. And so I just took the washi tape that I had and just tore it and just put it right here, just kind of making it look kind of rustic feel. And then this part right here, I left blank because I may want to write a note in here for Father's Day. And it doesn't stop there. Here's the pockets now. Now what you could do, let me just show you. You can just cover this part right here if you want. I just covered the whole thing and glued everything together, leaving that little space open. So I glued everything here to attach this paper right here. And that way I have a pocket in there. So if you're gonna do that, um, you just wanna make sure you glue here, right along here, and then you put your paper on top. So much fun. So I'm just going to leave that open so you can see the before and after. Okay, so you got a pocket there for maybe a gift tag. A pocket over here for possibly a card, an actual card. And then just another pocket here for some other things. Maybe you want to put a note inside. You can do that too. And then I took the flap 
and I was going to leave it white and I said no I have some more paper took more of my scraps and I decided to go ahead and add this to that flap and I didn't use a liquid glue on this I just used my regular Ad Tech crafters tape and then I actually added another sticker on here that I thought looked pretty masculine added that from another stamp set and let's look at the other side now and then I stamped it again on here staying within that wood grain again and put a button on there too to tie it in and then I thought you know what I had more paper left over and I said let me just cut out two triangles here or somewhat of a triangle and just add them on here just make it real fun okay so let's keep flipping it again so on this side now I just was playing around and cut out this shirt and so the blue shirt with you're the coolest on here I thought that looks so cute look how adorable that is okay so now once I was finished with the card I noticed that I was wondering how it would be displayed so I put it like this to display it like a card and then I opened it up again and I was like wow well this can display as a card too and then with this flap right here if I fold it like this now I've got this little rectangular thing going on and it looks super cool look at that I am loving this and so it's just super neat and just easy to do and so fun to do so I hope this helped you um, I wouldn't mind doing this again and maybe just doing a complete uh, tutorial like the whole process which would probably be an hour video but you're just doing the whole process of putting the whole thing together and just kind of do that mindless crafting kind of thing um, I would make that next one more feminine but this would be a this is like a per, the perfect birthday card um, congratulations you can tailor it to whatever you want so I had so much fun and um, I hope this inspired you go check out a lot of those envelope flip books um, that are on Pinterest or just search in YouTube and you'll see a bunch of them so I hope this inspired you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below um, if you would like to see me do a longer video showing the entire process of course it won't be like this but it'll be uh, similar to this this whole design like this particular one with the three envelopes I might even add a fourth envelope onto it who knows so don't forget to join us over at my gift basket appeal crafters group we're having a fun time in there inspiring each other and up uplifting each other so you can go over there and you can share your work share the pictures that you do if you've made something that I made and you want to show show us all how it's done or show us how you did it um, head over to the group we'd love to see it I'll see you real soon bye